Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm going to be bringing you a review, good start Brianna, <laughs> bringing you a review on the Heavenly Bodies Buttercream. So here is the kitchen version from 2017, just to let you guys know. So it is a bigger tub, it's the 240 gram version. They did have a smaller tub which came out in the January 2021 kitchen subscription box. So if you are a kitchen subscription member, you would have got it in that box. Um, and yeah, I just thought I would review my little, or my big 2017 kitchen version for you guys and let you know my thoughts on the product. So the ingredients of this product are orange blossom infusion, glycerine, rapeseed oil, coconut oil, fresh organic orange juice, rasool mud, organic jojoba oil, fair trade organic cocoa butter, water, sweet wild orange oil, vanilla absolute, roasted cocoa extract, and some other little bits and pieces. So first of all, I want to say um, a little bit of a correction about this product. I assumed that buttercream meant like a cream for your body as in after the shower, which is what I said when I was unboxing these. I was wrong, okay? And I figured that out when I started using this product, okay? So my dumb ass started rubbing this on my body after the shower and I was like, hang on a minute, this is a really weird color for a body lotion and it just was sticking on my skin. And I was kind of like, what the? And then I figured out, I read the, um, instructions so please read the instructions folks i read the instructions and i went oh okay so i read the first part which is scoop up a generous amount of this chocolatey orange goodness and smooth it all over before rinsing i missed the before rinsing part so just a note guys i was wrong i don't mind being wrong but it is embarrassing for me as a lush reviewer and someone who is meant to know about these products okay but it's okay so future reference, buttercream doesn't have anything to do with body lotion. It has something to do with a rich sort of shower cream kind of situation. Okay, so glad we've got that out of the way. Another thing, um, thank you to everyone who commented on the video as well and actually mentioned that it was Sonic Death Monkey centered. I don't know why I didn't pick that up. Um, so Sonic Death Monkey is sort of an older lush scent range i don't believe they have anything in the current range that's an all-year-round product that is sonic death monkey scented they did have the shower gel which they re-released for the community favorites in 2019 just as something to give back um, to us and let us have some of the more limited edition products um, it is characterized as being a chalk orange kind of scent don't really love the shower gel i didn't love the texture but i thought it was too thin um, and this is what the buttercream looks like. Um, in terms of scent, I prefer this scent of the Sonic Death Monkey in this than in the shower gel because it's less orangey. It's more chocolatey. Yeah. And I definitely noticed the Rasool mud and that sort of earthy smell with this. There's definitely an earthy smell going on with this. Um, and I kind of like it. And I like that this is such a unique looking product. I just love the clear sort of tub and the way it's presented. I just think it looks really cool. Um, just love it. I think it's really cool. Now, once I did actually use this in the shower as a soap, as it's intended to be used, I really enjoyed it. I think it is one of those ones that would be great for sensitive skin or people who have very dry skin in general. Um, obviously with sensitive skin, you can't sort of recommend things because everyone's skin is different, but I think if you've got generally drier skin, I think you would really enjoy this. Um, I just feel like it hydrated my skin really well. Um, when I got out of the shower, I didn't feel like I needed to sort of moisturize that much. I did still put on a light lotion, but I felt really, really just moisturized coming out of the shower, which was such a nice surprise. Um, really do enjoy this. I really like this product and I'm sort of perplexed as to why they don't have any sort of buttercreams in the current Lush lineup. They obviously have the OD Creamy Dreamy, which is a shower cream. It's more of a thicker sort of um, paste texture, I would say. It's a little bit um, it's a little bit thinner than this in texture, I would say. Uh, and I do really enjoy that product. Um, I just wish there were more products like this. I think it might be a cost issue because there are so many oils and things in here and butters and things like that. So it could be cost issues and stuff like that. But I really enjoy this and I like the name of it, Heavenly Bodies. I think it makes a lot of sense and I really do enjoy the product in that aspect. So 
yeah, really cool product. Really enjoyed it once I used it correctly. Uh, so yeah, I think it's a five out of five product and I do like that sort of chocolatey smell. Definitely makes you feel a bit like a queen or a king. Um, so yeah, really enjoyed that part of the product as well. So thank you very much for watching this video. I sincerely appreciate all the support I get on this channel. Please stay tuned for more Lush reviews like this. And until next time, take care and I hope to see you again real soon. Bye for now.